Yo, what's up guys, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Back at it again with another PC build. You guys read the title. This is the GPU we're going with. I actually had to take this GPU out of my main rig and I replaced my main rig with a GTX 1050. So yeah, I downgraded for this video. But once again, you guys are responsible for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and read some of the comments you guys left on the last build. John B said, how about the i5-8400? Question mark. AG Hockey said, you should do an Intel and a GTX 1080 build next month. Keep up the good work, smiley face. No man said, can you do a GTX 1080 and a Core i5-8400 build guide, please? Well, yes, I can, I will, and by the time you guys are watching this video, I did. It's not gonna be a super in-depth guide, just like the last video. Let me run down what we're gonna be doing. First, I'm gonna go over all the parts, their prices, and why I chose them. Second, we're gonna build this thing. It's gonna be sort of a time lapse, speeding up, no guide. If you guys never built the BP, if you guys never built a PC before, I'm gonna include full build guys that teaches you how to do everything from start to finish. I've done a couple, check them out. Oh, thanks camera. Camera's not even focusing on my face, there you go. And then last, we're actually gonna be gaming on this PC. We're gonna test out all modern AAA titles such as PUBG, Overwatch, Fortnite, and a lot of other games. But yeah guys, thanks for the video ideas. I told you guys, comment down video ideas, you guys always pull through. So for this build, I'm gonna have two price lists. The title is, we're working with a $1,200 budget, but I'll, I'll get into more detail in a bit as to what I mean by two price list. All right guys, so yeah, a lot more parts than my typical build. I'm gonna try to go over them as quick as possible. I'll try to make it short and sweet. We're gonna start off with our storage. Just like in the last build I did, the 1070 Ti build, we're gonna pick the same storage. It's gonna be a 120 gigabyte SSD, which goes for $50, and a one terabyte hard drive to store our games. So I'll go over why we chose these for our storage. The SSD, we're gonna be installing Windows 10 on here so our operating system can boot up a lot quicker. Any programs such as Steam are also gonna be installed on here so they can boot up quicker. The hard drive's gonna serve just to store our games because our games are pretty large in size. Okay, so to power our PC, I went with a 650 watt bronze power supply from EVGA. This thing's currently going for $70 on Amazon and that's how much I paid for it, $70. And if you guys were building a PC with similar components, you can get away with like a 500 watt power supply, but I chose this so it could be future proof. In the future, if you wanna upgrade to a beefier graphics card, you'll be able to do so. If you wanna upgrade to a beefier CPU, you'll be able to do so. Am I talking too fast? I think I'm talking too fast. I think I'm gonna slow it down a bit because yeah, I think I'm talking too fast. I'm just trying to do this as quick as possible because the video ends up being like 30 minutes and no one wants to watch a 30 minute video because that's too long. You guys are busy people. You guys got a lot of things to do in your life, right? Right, okay. And for our RAM, we went with a kit of eight gigs. It's clocked at 2,666 megahertz, i5-8400. This is a six core processor. It's clocked at 2.8 gigahertz, but it has a four gigahertz boost. It's locked. It's not a K-series processor, so you can't overclock this, unfortunately. I paid 190 for this guy. So moving on to our motherboard. This is the Z370 chipset. So the Z370 chipset is considered among the top of the line. Right now, that's the only chipset out on the market that will support a Coffee Lake CPU. That's kind of a problem right now. We're going with an i5 it's like mid-level it's okay pairing it with this it's not totally ridiculous but some people may want to get an i3 coffee lake processor and they're forced to pair it with this i guess it's not a total loss they'll have more room to upgrade in the future but typically you wouldn't pair like an i3 processor with a top of the line motherboard so that's that but hopefully the budget and the mid-range chipsets drop soon for the coffee lake platform oh and i paid 115 dollars for this motherboard so for a case, I went with a case a lot of you guys are probably familiar with, the NZXT S340 Mid Tower. I picked this up for $70. So the last part guys, as I mentioned, I took this out of my main rig. So for any of you guys that don't know, GPU prices right now are very inflated. It's because of the GPU miners. They're buying them up in bulk. But um, yeah guys, that's how it is right now. I will link videos down below in the video description. If you don't know what's going on, I want you guys to check out those videos so you could better understand what's going on. Those will be in the description. And so will all these parts for this build. Those will also be linked in the description. But a GTX 1080 right now is going for like over $1,000. It's pretty crazy. No one should pay that amount of money. Please do not buy a GTX 1080 for a thousand dollars don't do it just hang in there hold tight I don't know how long these prices are gonna last hopefully they don't last very long but yeah guys the MSRP of a GTX 1080 is supposed to be $500 but even in a perfect market people were buying them for like 550 so I'm just gonna give it a 550 price point so if we add up all these parts the price is gonna be just under $1,200 but I did say we're gonna have two price lists so these are some parts that you don't necessarily need the only reason I purchased these parts is simply aesthetics make the build look cooler. Let me explain. This is carbon fiber binaural wrap. It's white. It's going to cover our SSD so it could match our case. 
These are fan splitters. So typically on your motherboard, you'll have an input for one fan. This fan splitter will hook up in there and then it'll give you two inputs for a fan. So that's already one benefit. The second benefit is the look of the wires themselves. As you can see, they have a pretty cool little pattern going. Looks a lot better than the stock fan cables. Right here, we have two additional 120 millimeter fans. This case already has two fans. So yeah, two more fans will obviously assist in better airflow, but your system will also look cooler from the inside. Now this is probably one of the most unnecessary items out of all of them. Let's go ahead and open up our Coffee Lake CPU so you can see what I'm talking about. So this processor isn't a K series, so it's locked, which means Intel includes a stock heatsink with it. The only thing is Intel hasn't upgraded their stock heat sinks. AMD has upgraded them. They look a lot more cooler than this. Look at this, it's a shame. And yes, if any of you guys are worried about the temps, this is more than enough to keep your CPU cool. It just, look at it, just look at it. It's a disrespect to your entire system. So look guys, think about it this way. If you ever plan to upgrade in the future, say you upgrade to the top of the line K series Coffee Lake CPU and you throw it in your motherboard, right? Well, the K-Series doesn't come with a stock heatsink, but now you'll have a heatsink. You'll have this super dope looking white heatsink that matches your build. So you're kind of future-proofing yourself. And last but not least, we got Commander Cody in the house. This is a Walgreens exclusive. You know how we do it here on the channel. We splurge on Funko Pop figures. So if we were to total up all these extras, it would cost us an additional $62. That's what I paid for all this stuff. That's not including the Funko Pop figure. So yeah, guys, just like I said, all of these extras, they're all optional. You don't need it for your system to function. But with all that being said let's build this thing We got ourselves a dope looking backplate and right here is what lights up. The grills, they light up white. EBJ likes to package their beefy cards, little posters, stickers. All right, we're kicking off the gameplay test with Rainbow Six Siege. Our graphics quality is on ultra and our display is at 144 hertz because we're gaming on a 144 hertz monitor. Oh, it's still alive. Oh, yep, they know I'm there. Let me try to throw a seat forward. Hopefully I don't try. Here goes nothing. Oh! Oh, I got one. I got two. No! Oh! Ah! Get him! The location has been compromised. Wow, what are you doing, Jaeger? You're not healthy at all, bro. Bro. Oh, sh Go, rush it. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. Where is it? Off. Can't see anything. Oh my god! Oh, we got a trooper. We got someone down. We gotta pick him up. Oh, never mind. Someone else did it. And I'm dead. Go, 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 go. Attack! Attack me! You want someone else? What am I? Did I just miss all that? I can't. What? Oh, oh, you want some too? Let me get on this cannon. Oh, you guys are done now. You guys are done now. 
Whoa! Who's next? Who's next? I got enough for everyone. Uh, what? Oh, we traded. I didn't go to sniper school, but hopefully. With a bit of luck. Oh, this guy got it. Alright, get back in here. Don't let him get through. Fire the cannons, fire the cannon. Go, go, three, two, one, blast. Three, two, one, three, two, one, fire. Three, two, one. Oh, you suck. We're playing at 1080p resolution and our graphics preset set to ultra. Where is he? Oh no, you don't. Oh, look at that. Whoa, that guy lost me. High up in the air. Oh. oh, I only got one. It's all right, I'll take it. Before I touch the ground, I'm going to show you guys the settings. We're pretty much playing the game next out. Epic preset, 1080p resolution. You ready for anything? Just missed all those bullets. Nope, I'm not escaping. Oh, I suck. What a... There we go. Come on, break it. Okay, guys, so now we're going to be playing some GTA 5, and I'm running it out of native 4K resolution thanks to the GeForce Experience program. Whoa. Oh, my car. My car. Abort. Abort. Well, we're going very high speed, and our FPS is really good. Bro. Oh. Oh, I'm on the freeway now, okay. I meant to do that. All right guys, last game we're testing out, PUBG. Wait, I don't even know what settings I'm playing. I'm playing on Ultra. Oh wow, I guess we're playing on Ultra. Let's see if we can handle it. I hear gunshots on my left. Oh, who's that? Oh, what? Should I go for it? Maybe there's a gun up there. Let's just go for it, YOLO. Okay, yeah, he knows I'm here now. Anything up here? Yeah, I definitely heard someone. There's someone in here. <gasps> yes! No one over here. Okay, let's get out of here. There's someone probably on the roof. I'm just gonna run down there, get that scope, and then... Bow oh, there he is! Come on. Oh, I got him. Dude, I should not have gotten that kill. I just looked at him and looked away. What am I doing? I was so lucky. He choked on that one too. Oh, that's back there. There has to be a guy somewhere over there. Or is my headset trolling me? Up the hill. If you guys watched till the end, I really appreciate it. You guys are the real MVP. Make sure to turn on the bell icon so you can be alerted when I post future PC builds. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>